If you get a woman, if you want to you committed to you, have sex with her, get some medicine, sleep with the woman, let the woman feel you. After step back, the woman will start chasing you. We are in a world that people are redefining marriages. The one who instituted marriage is God, not shrines, not Melonius, not a TV star, not a popular man of God, not a known artist. If you want solutions on how to do or build marriage, the person to consult first is God. Any other philosophy or mentality is wrong. So now, Jesus was talking in a parable and he said that everybody builds a house. Some build their house on a rock, and some build up a sand. Now, a sand is um, like a destroyed rock, pieces of rocks. I taught you in faith based on 1 Corinthians chapter 10 that the rock is Christ. Now in 1 Timothy chapter 4, let's look at verse 3 and 7. As if God knew that this thing would happen one day, Paul told Timothy, true, um, he said a time will come, people will be forbidden to marry. Now, if you read the word forbidden to marry, other versions, if you like actually King James translation, the word forbidden to marry means that people will be prevented from getting married. People will say, don't marry. And people are agreeing. People are buying into it. And this is not what God wants. Prophetically, they said, let's read, they will tell you not to get married. They will tell you not to what? eat this or that. Now, are we not in that time? Do you know that there are so many people who don't want to get married? Adult women looking for small boys to sleep with and after that they say go your way. Sugar mommy, sugar daddy. We have a lot of celebrities now who don't get married. There, there is even um, what they call celebrity marriage. Where it is contract. We are married on paper, but we can do anything we want. But that is not the definition of marriage by the will of God. But that is what we are doing now. Take clear of silly stories that get dressed up in a religion. All wise fables. There are so many people who are following all wise fables. There are all kinds of stories being told by people who have failed in marriage, who have failed in life, and you too, you are swallowing it, that this is how it is. So, now you don't marry one leg inside one out. Why? I they fear you about to try. All kinds of interesting stories that you can't even find in the Bible. One of them is that if you get a woman, if you want her to be committed to you, have sex with her, get some medicine, sleep with the woman, let the woman feel you. After step back, the woman will start chasing you. So men get women, and the first thing in their mind is that they must have sex. But if I have sex, she becomes my woman. For me to stop the chasing, sleep with her, old wife fables. So and you women too, you, you, know, you don't know this thing, and the men know it. So they get you. When they, are, when they first slept with the woman for the first time, you see that the man will call me, you worry, you worry me, trying to be there, come to that. As soon as he gets you, three, four days, the ten ten, you are not supposed to allow it. They know very well that you should not sex before marriage is not good. But say, they will tell you that that one rather is Old Testament Bible. What is this Bible? When a man wants to have sex with a woman and he's not getting it, he can go and pay your diary very fast. That is one of the things that makes men pay diary very fast. Because when they want and they can't get, then they must pay for it and become it their own. But when they are getting it already, why should they pay? Ah, will you go and pay electricity if there's free electricity in your house? So there's a lot of philosophy. And you too, you, you listen to this, you believe it. So Jesus said, the wise man built his house, he heard the word, and built his house or his family based on the godly principles of God's word. But a foolish man built his family on sand. Are you wise or you are foolish? 